Assalamu alaikum sister. Wa alaikum salam. Sister, if I want you to send message to designers, to the IDF, to those babies murders, to those babies uh, killer, what would you say to them? Well, I would say whatever plans that you have devised have failed. Malcolm X once said the chickens are coming home to roost. All the propaganda that you have created over the last 75 years has basically gone to waste. We have access to information now. People are more eager to learn about what's going on in Palestine. And people have now come to the conclusion that Israel is a terrorist state. This is not just a Muslim position. This is a international position. I know a lot of you guys feel like you're happy because you have Western leaders that are supporting you. But Western leaders are only not even 1% of the British or American public. Majority of the public is against what Israel is doing. Eventually, it's all going to crumble. People are now waking up to the truth more than ever because if this happened 30 years ago, nobody would understand exactly the origins of the situation. Because we now have social media, because we have alternative media, because we have our brothers and sisters in Gaza videoing, showcasing to us exactly what you guys are doing, you can't hide from it. Your own propaganda has been dissected. You claim that there were 40 babies that were beheaded, there was no evidence and it has to be retracted. You made a whole bunch of claims and alhamdulillah, you have all been refuted and your lies have been refuted. So at the end of the day, the world is awake, people are waking up. This is a different time in history. Um, and you know, like I said, the chickens are coming home to roost. Trust me. Everyone knows you right now. You guys been exposed the, the, the true image of, of you, the true uh, reality of you, the true faces of you is out. We know it now. Even 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 people from from everywhere they start they, they literally they literally they start hating them. Because wait, if you wanna if you wanna go and fight and fight the head screw, go fight the head screw. But you can't be fighting babies and hospitals and, and schools and... But the thing is, brother, you know, historically speaking, like Israelis have never been known historically to be warriors on the battlefield. You know, in every group, whether you're African or Arab or Asian, they have a history of being good on the battlefield, right? Yep. You know, Genghis Khan, Khalid Ibn Walid, uh, uh, different, different leaders. Yep. This group of people have never been known for that, Akhi. Historically speaking, when we speak of the Israelis and the way that they perform on the battlefield, yeah. they've never been good on the battlefield. All they know is to hide behind their walls and, and throw bombs. Yeah, that's that's why they don't want to have a face-to-face -face war, Basically, because yeah. they're not trained at it. They're not good at it. They can't. They've they never, can't. historically speaking, been known to be great warriors. Name me one great Israeli warrior historically. Yeah. There's none. But alhamdulillah, we, like I said, we've got Khalid ibn Walid, Omar ibn Khattab. So many different cultures, they yeah. have strong warriors. This group yeah, of people only have cowards. Face, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. Coward. Bunch of coward. For real. That's it, man. Anything you want to add up to those coward babies mothers? I mean, alhamdulillah, like I say, people are starting to wake up. Um, they themselves are panicking. They are losing the media war. Shout out to every content creator who has been putting in work no matter where you're from to expose the lies guys we're winning we're winning we've got them we've got them right where we want them we have succeeded we've won we've won the information war and it's all collapsing for them so you know keep Western's on going news, shame on them absolutely shame bbc sky news all them cna all of them man free only showing the other the other the other side Free Palestine, free Palestine. Salam alaikum.